Hello guys. In recent, uh, recently, I purchased this new 3DS. It wasn't XL, but whatever. I purchased it with the special Mario 3D Land one with the two cases at Target for $150. And I thought I would review it. So first things first, I thought it was going to be an XL which kind of was like eh but then I got over it but this this cover does come off uh, I'm going to take it off can be hard to take off sometimes, but whatever. See, our little cover came off of our 3DS. The back side's a bit different, and some things kind of made me mad about this, but you, you have to screwdriver, use a screwdriver to get this side off. I'm sorry if you see stuff in the background, but you, you, I'm, I'm serious. You have to screwdriver that cell. So let me do that. Alright, we got one side and two. Now I'm going to peel it off. See, here's our back cover, and this. What really made me mad was this, right here. They, they do not have regular SD card support. So, you, you kind of have to have a micro SD from your old 3DS, or like a Nintendo account to just transfer your games. And then we have all the other basic stuff, like the battery. So overall, other than the fact that I thought it was going to be an XL and all that, I pretty much like it in, in a really SD card slot. Now let's look at the outside. So here's what it looks like now. If you remember from the old 3DS, our game slot wasn't here. See, I have Smash Bros. Our game saw is in another spot. In the back. Well, no, not in the back yet. So, we have our headphone jack still here. And these two. Uh, well, now there's three. The third one, right here, is that Wi-Fi button that, like, pretty much just means, like, the connections and all of that, if you remember that. And then this middle thing right here is just our stylus. See? Just our stylus. Now we'll, we've looked at the front, so now let's look at the back. We still have our charging cable in our L, our L and R. But now, you'll notice we have a ZL and a ZR. What do these do? Okay. And we also have two weird buttons, but I'll show you that in a minute when we load our game. Now let's take a look at the inside. Alright, so... Here's our inside. Uh, top screen. You will now notice that the volume is right here, rather than down here. And you will still see the 3D. Oh god, that's, that's really, really blurry, but whatever, yeah. You will still see your 3D. Now we're going to go down to the bottom screen. 
Alright. We still have our home button, but it's smaller. Our power button was moved, I didn't I didn't mention that yet, to right here. This thing's not auto focusing, I'm sorry guys. But um Alright, and these two are still the same. They've colored our buttons, and I don't really know what they did to this. They also, like I explained earlier, removed this SD card slot. And they have this button. I will get that, that to that in a second. So let's go on ahead and power this thing on and load up Smash Bros. And I'll show you what the mechanics of it are like. Alright, we have our Smash Bros. And we are going to load it. Alright. Sorry if that is a bit crappy, but whatever. Alright, um, the quality you see on your screen is not the same as our quality on our 3DS in terms of like all those lines. So we'll go to Smash and go Solo. Now on this bottom screen, You'll notice there's something that says ZR Amiibo. Why? So if we press the back button, our screen will now have this. I have tested this, and when we put an Amiibo on the bottom, on that screen, where the circle is, that means that we have an Amiibo that we can play with. Alright, now we're going to go and play with someone. Oh yeah, you can, you can use this button to cursor. Let's see. I think I'll go with Bowser. Because Bowser's like one of my favorite guys in this game, honestly. And we'll go to our stage. We all know how to play. So I'm just going to get to this little button here. So when we press it, he does that. Or that. Like, so if we hold it, he, you'll notice that that's the same as A where you like have to hold down so now we have a home run bat so we'll show off that see uh, so yeah that button's basically just like a weird like hold like for certain games like in Mario 3D World it does not work I don't know why. I don't even know why they would have the game downloaded if that button didn't work on it, but that's just Nintendo. Oh, and the other thing. It didn't come with the charger. Lucky for me, I already had 3DS and the charger and everything, so yeah. My rating on this whole system here somewhere in the four to three star maybe maybe four or five like three five that's all I should say I really like the coverings I'm kind of mad it wasn't XL but eh who cares so this was my review on the three new 3DS if you liked it please subscribe and Come on, what I should make next. Bye, people.